Good morning, Print Fam. Happy Wednesday. Sometimes I forget what day it is. And it's really not good morning because it's noon. Gotten quite a few things done. Customer came pick up some stickers. Brought me some some green some green stuff. So it's always nice. Uh, been working on some artwork for some business cards. I have four sets of 250, all for the same company. Uh, they sent me mostly the right stuff, but I had to go through and fix it just a little bit. Um, I'm also working on some thank you cards for Bob. Those are five by, no, they're seven by tens that will be folded in half. Um, we're doing a 4x6 mailer and a 5x7 mailer for Bob. And I'm confused about the 5x7, so I gotta call him real quick. But then we're gonna get them all printed. Then I'm going to the dump because my pickup truck is full of yard clippings and grass and all sorts of stuff. So I gotta go to the dump, get that emptied, so I could go pick up a bunch of screen printed orders. Um, not all of the orders are done. Two of the three are done. Um, the third one, according to the system my screen printer use, uses, which is Printavo, it's in production. So it's due today. So hopefully it'll be done soon. It is about a thousand shirts. So it's kind of a big order. And it's two sided. It's three sided. Got a oh, full front full back and the left sleeve maybe the right sleeve I can't remember but it'll take a while so I should have plenty of time to go to the dump but I'm going to try to get these business cards printed and finished so that I can um, take them to the post office can't even think um so, yeah, good times. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions, I'm just kidding, it's not over. Some of you are like, oh, let's get on with the day. Also, just a little update. I, I, I don't know if my hand is broken. I'm still super like tender right here, but it's not so bad up here anymore. And it, it doesn't hurt so much to move it and it doesn't hurt to pick stuff up like the day it happened we went to my mother-in-law's to eat dinner and we had soup and french bread cut up into slices and it hurt just to hold a piece of french bread that was sliced and like this big just tiny but it's feeling a little bit better so i'm still gonna watch it but I don't think it's broke. Time will tell.
Back from the errands, got the shirts picked up, got one of them delivered, have two that I still yet to deliver. When I got back, I spent a bunch of time doing administrative stuff, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to explain how I get paid and how I monitor what gets paid and who pays and how it gets paid and all that fun stuff. So as many of you know, and some of you may not know, I use monday.com for my project management. And I have a video that I will link down in the description um, that I kind of went over how I use monday.com. So brief summary, there's a job name, job information, details about the job, and then we have what we quoted them. As part of that though, we have an invoicing section. So I know if I've sent them an invoice, if they've paid the invoice, if the invoice has been created, so I can kind of know where it is. So today, it's like, oh, I finished a bunch of jobs, so I gotta get that done, or maybe I've had some jobs that prepaid that I wanna make sure I mark it. Um, so today I got back and said, okay, I delivered this screen printing job, get it off my queue. They already paid, so I don't have to worry about that, but I did some jobs for Bob today on the Konica. So, okay, go in and I need to mark or create, whew, need to create invoices. And am I missing information? So I have an automation that, oh, hey, Bob, I need information. So in this case, it would be any salesman. It would, it sends the salesman an email saying that there's information missing, whether the price is missing, whether their contact information is missing, or we haven't invo invoiced them before, so I need the information. Um, but then the price is in there. I know what it is. I've got their information from there. I put everything into QuickBooks. And I use QuickBooks online because then my accountant can access it simply. I don't have to send him files. He doesn't I don't have to be locked out. And he can just do stuff on the fly. Um, so in QuickBooks, I create invoices. I create customers. I mark if the customer's been paid or if the invoice has been paid by the customer and everything else my accountant does. So my accountant reconciles the books, he makes sure things are good, he sends me a report once a month, if I have questions I can ask him. Um, so I really like that. I pay him $250 a month and I technically have to do nothing. Um, not even obligated to make invoices if I don't want to. He would take care of everything. Uh, but invoices make it easy for me. I know where I'm at. It's not even late. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, he takes care of everything. And then I pay him a separate fee to do my taxes at the end of the year. Um, as far as receiving payments, I have a merchant processor. And they have a platform called Spot On. Through Spot On, I can take payments. Um, I've got a little card reader that attaches to my phone. Bob has one. Um, I can take payments online. I have it linked to my website so that people can just pay money. And it all links. Um, it's batched, processed every day. And the funds are in my account the following day. So as long as I batch, which I have it automated, it... Can start having to get one of those little young count tickers in the top corner um but yeah as long as it batches out which it does it automatically then the funds are in my account tomorrow um so in this case i had one person pay me they paid me for some business cards it batched out today so i'll get it tomorrow um but yeah that's kind of the process i do occasionally take Payments via PayPal. Um, I have one customer that pays me through electronic fund transfer. Um, a few customers that pay me via check, but the majority of my customers pay me with credit card. And the majority of those customers pay online. So I do it online because even though I pay a little bit more, I get paid faster. And a lot of times they don't see the customers and it just makes it easy. Sometimes I'm dropping it off and they're not there. Sometimes I'm dropping it off and they are there. Or they're not the one I'm dropping it off to is not the one that pays. So it just makes it easier. Cost of doing business, but I get paid a lot faster. So that's kind of the ins and outs of my books. 
quick recap. Monday.com to know what it is, who it's for, and what we're charging. QuickBooks to make invoices, and spot on slash credit card processor slash PayPal slash whatever to collect payments. I was gonna do a couple of large format things, but there's one more file that I'm waiting for Bob to send, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get to it today. If I do, you'll see the footage. If I don't, this is where I'm gonna leave you. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Amazon Affiliate, Patreon, BusinessCardsOnly.com, Custom Orders, etc. Well, that's not Cam. I thought it might have been. I would have been like... Rrr! But, thank you for watching. We appreciate all of you that support us in any way at all. So, here's to tomorrow. If I don't do the vinyl tonight, we'll be doing it tomorrow. We've got a couple of wedding announcements that we're trying to get wrapped up, so hopefully we can get those wrapped up and printed and done. Um, I feel like there's a lot of work on Monday.com, but not a lot of it is ready. Um, but we do have the vinyl that I need for Bob. We still have the white window cling that I should get done because it was due last Saturday. Um, I've got to purchase some perforated vinyl, so that's basically the same thing as this, except there's holes, and you can buy it in 50-50, so 50% holes, 50% vinyl. You can buy it in like 40-60 and different things. So I need to purchase some because we have our first job that needs it. Um, but we do have a bunch of things just coming up in the queue. Um, I do need to get a couple more screen printed orders designed because they're due at the end of the month. Um, but for sure tomorrow we'll be doing some HP Latex stuff. Um, overall, not a ton of sales in the queue. We got about 6,000 in sales in the queue, or potential, because not all of them are necessarily one. Uh, Bob's got 21 jobs in there, I've got 36. So, not too shabby. Hopefully they will all turn into business and they will all be good, because 
As much as it pained me to not build the building, I still want to try to do it this year. I want to do it. But I also want to make enough money that I can hire Cam. And I want to make enough money that I can hire someone to do more graphic stuff. So, gotta make some money. But thank you again for being there, Print Fam. I appreciate you being here. I really appreciate your comments. I learned so much from you guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS. Print fam, because it's my son's birthday tomorrow, staying up late to get some extra work done so that I can take some time off tomorrow. So let's 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 pull you back from the closing and get some large format stuff printed. Let's do this. So I was trying to use up my last few rolls. And if you look here, this bar didn't quite cure, but all of the actual print did. So I think, I think I can get away with it. My only concern are these two pinch wheels. So I'm gonna actually lift them up, which you can do with this lever here on the back. You just lift and push that down in hopes that it won't be a problem because I don't want these to roll over it and then smear the print. So, but I don't want to erase the bar. Even though I don't think it uses this one, I think it just uses the registration marks. So, wish me luck. Luckily, I was able to get it to cut. It's now on the table, we did. Just need to get some transfer tape applied to one of the sections and it will be all ready for Bob. Tomorrow, I'll load on a new roll of media <laughs> and we'll get the last little order done. It's not due till Friday, so I might not even do it tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed this after vlog special. Make sure you subscribe.